Hey everyone, and welcome to another custom challenge run in The Binding of Isaac. It may not look like it's a custom challenge run, but what I've done is uh, Spider Mod now has a cheat to make it so that all enemies are champions, and bosses as well. Uh, there's also one for making uh, mini bosses always um, champions, which I assume means the uh, super versions of them, but I did not check that one because, uh, you know, there aren't like champion champion mini bosses, there are just uh, like supers in the ultra. Uh, so I didn't do that. But as you can see, every enemy is a champion, every boss will be a champion. That's going to be good and bad. Now you might not have uh, thought of it, but the reason that's really good for us is that uh, as long as we have the ability to kill the enemies, we can, um, we're going to get a drop from each one of them. Except, of course, those flies that obviously are not uh, going to be champions, really. But we're going to get a lot of drops that we normally wouldn't. So we're going to, like, we're probably going to be flourishing as far as uh, money, bombs, and keys are concerned. Which is going to be interesting. But we're going to have a lot of tougher enemies, more health, more damage. Uh, this is essentially, it's a hard mode. And uh, this wasn't really suggested by anyone except the fact that, like, probably a million people suggested it overall. Uh, throughout the past and um, such, but I don't have uh, anyone in particular because I'm not really keeping up with challenge runs honestly because I don't like them very much, but this one is more of an excuse for me to play as Isaac as well as um, bringing a twist to a vanilla run that, you know, I, I would have been doing a vanilla run anyway. This is just like a challenge mode. So I can play Isaac, I can do all the re-rolling and stuff that I want to do, but also, you know, play a vanilla run and then have it be more challenging. So this is going to be interesting. And uh, everything's going to be a champion. And for the most part, that uh, hopefully we can get good enough items, which means that hopefully I'm re-rolling optimally enough and well enough uh, luck-wise in order to get uh, enough damage and such to uh, be able to handle all of these tougher, more health um, enemies and stuff, more health, more damage that they're doing. Yeah, so uh, it's going to be a trade-off. It's going to be great that we're getting a ton of drops, but it might turn out terrible if we can't get any damage or anything. So what I do want to say is uh, I finally have my three monitor setup working. I have all three monitors on right now. It's glorious. Uh, I really love having all this extra space on my desktop. It's kind of amazing. But uh, yeah, I'm done with this floor. Nothing else for me to do. Everything else about this should be the same, but if something is different about the way the game works fundamentally, that's going to be an error in Spider Mod. I remember the last time I used Spider Mod, what happened was there was... Um, an instance where the arcade spawned when I only had three cents, and arcades can only spawn when you have five cents. Spider has since fixed that, or uh, thinks he has, and I assume that he probably has. And, um, you know, if, if there's any other such discrepancy, that's that's going to be the reason, basically. And uh, hopefully that's not something that's going to make a big difference in anything. I definitely have the bombs to handle this. Okay, and I also get a top secret room. How nice. Top secret room, no thank you. I don't really want to mess with a uh, fortune teller right now. I don't think I need it. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not teleporting to the item room using the stars card yet because uh, I want to get a charge. God, look at all these champions. This is crazy. It's also gonna just be like a rainbow in every room. It's just gonna be awful. Now, what I don't know about the cheat is whether or not um, enemies that don't have alternate forms can spawn. So, like bosses as well. For example, uh, it's still debated to this day whether or not there's a champion form of the Fallen. And, I mean, there's just not. There's, I, I mean, there might be, but I am, like, 99% certain that there just is not a champion Fallen. I think that that, uh, when Ed said that, he was talking about Krampus being uh, a separate thing. So anyway, Roid Rage is a free reroll because I don't like speed very much. I find that it doesn't really help me, and it has great potential to damage me because I walk onto some spikes or something or run into an enemy that I wouldn't have normally. Alright, so balls of steel, health up. Oh my god, our pills are amazing. And uh, what are you? Health down. Okay, so our pills are mostly amazing. <laughs> At least I know there's the health up there, though. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, balls of steel and health up are two great pills. We're not going to be able to pick up an item from our item room, which is unfortunate. And the nice thing about uh, champion bosses is a lot of them have a blue champion, which means we're going to hopefully be um, able to replenish our soul hearts relatively often. I haven't uh, played anything else in this session, so I'm not going to be able to get an angel room right away, so if I find a deal with a devil item that I like, I'm just going to take it. 
Uh, now the thing is, uh, this isn't the new series, no, although it could be. This would be a fun new series if, uh, just for vanilla runs, I played with the Always Champions mod off, like, every so often. On every... Uh, often? I was gonna say often, but then I just said off, and then I meant every so often. You know, whatever. But that would be a fun series if I just played Always Champions every so often. And I, I might actually just do that as a recurring series of challenge runs, because it's a fun way to you know, sort of bridge the gap between the fact that I really don't like challenge runs and you guys all want to see challenge runs. So, uh, that, you know, that's something that uh, might happen, especially if I get a really good response to this, which, hey, who knows? Uh, I am gonna go totally crazy here. I'm gonna take that, and I'm gonna take that. I played that wrong a little bit, but uh, now I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I have nine lives, two-thirds of the way to becoming Guppy. There's really nothing I can do here except go... I mean, I I can get to 15 cents if I do this easily. And then I go to the shop. We see what's in there. Maybe it's the habit or something ridiculous like that. That would make my life pretty easy. Maybe. No, but it's a treasure map, which I'm not against taking at the moment. That will show us the layout of the floor without showing us uh, where or what any of the rooms are. It'll show us the secret room and not the top secret room, which is pretty nice. So we now know that we have uh, the secret room here, which gives us three more cents. And probably uh, I'm just going to go use that and buy a soul heart because I think that health is the most important thing to be buying because I feel like we're less likely to get soul heart drops even with all these champions and pretty likely to be getting keys and bombs because they're just kind of standard drops that things give you. So, uh, you know, I think this is going well. And if we ever find a curse room, that would be a very happy thing because maybe we become Guppy. I'd very much like to become Guppy because uh, that'd be nice. Note that Keepers do not have a champion form, so fighting Keepers is just fighting Keepers. And uh, I'm glad they don't have a champion form because if they did, God, those would be the worst. Champion Keepers sounds like my nightmare. Straight up. Okay. And uh, this is going to be the secret room as well, so I'm going to go to that, of course. I was hoping to get you locked in shooting, because then I would just kill you, which I still did anyway. Secret room could, I don't know, it could contain something that I want. Or a bunch of money, which is also fine, because that just means that we're able to potentially go to the shop on this floor, which, hey, I have no complaints about going to the shop on this floor. There's a curse room I am going to use. Uh, one full soul heart to go there, because, uh, again, we could become guppy. Or it could just give us more soul hearts or something like that. It's a very high potential for benefit, basically. And, of course, there's also potential for negatives, but hey. Now, the thing I don't want to happen is it to teleport us to the uh, Devil Room. Because I want to have all these soul hearts <laughs> forever, and I don't want to have another guppy item appear in there. And then I, I pretty much, I mean, I'm going to take it. I just am. Oh, thank you for an item. Oh, okay. I'm taking Mom's knife. I'm so sorry if that bothers you, but I was hoping for a reroll to a guppy item, but anyway, Bloody Lust is real bad, and the reason for that is that it, um, basically the way it works is it gives you a uh, small damage up, and yes, it's a small damage up. I don't think I've ever seen that color champion of that. It gives you a small damage up when, um, ever you kill an enemy within a room, and it, you know, resets when you go to the next room. And uh, the reason that's bad is because the damage up is rather insignificant, so as like if they're difficult enemies, there aren't going to be enough of them for it to matter. And if they're... Okay, so there is no fallen champion. I'll tell you that right now. No champion fallen. It doesn't exist. This is proof. Uh, but anyway, if there are difficult enemies, there aren't enough of them for it to make a difference for you. If there are easy enemies, you don't need the difference. And it is a special item, and what special items are is uh, that special items are a list of items in the game. Okay, I would love to take the mark, but you know, these actually aren't that tempting. And the thing is, I'm not going to reroll in here because regardless to health, uh, am I going to reroll? It's a double reroll, and I have nine lives and mom's knife. Okay, it didn't work out. How is that still there? I don't know how that works. Anyway, uh, it's a special item, and special items prevent each other from... Well, okay, they... they um. As you collect more special items, the chance increases that the game just doesn't give you more. So basically, I have a special item, and uh, the game knows that, and it's like, hey, you know, you don't need more special items because you already have one. And most of the time, the special items are good items. So with Bloodlust being a mediocre to bad item, 
uh, it's definitely not worth using your special item chance up. Health up, that's good. I wasn't in negative health or anything, so... Uh, it's totally, totally fine. And uh, the thing is, a lot of Wrath of the Lamb enemies just don't seem to have champions, and that's kind of boring, honestly, but what can you do? Now, here's the thing. I do want to um, re-roll this, but I want to re-roll in the boss room more because it's taken from the devil room pool because we killed the Fallen, and so the Fallen's pool for drops is the devil room pool. So we're absolutely more focused on that than we are on uh, the item room because any guppy item would be very nice for us. Guppy's head or guppy's tail are the two that remain. Guppy's tail wouldn't be as huge of a detriment as you might think, causing all the chests to spawn and less of everything else, simply because of champions. We're going to get a lot of whatever we get. Lucky foot is good, but I think I want to take the chance. Lucky foot will make it so that we always win on fortune tellers. We win more with gambling, and pills can only be good or neutral, so that would change our health down into a health up always, rather than just when we have one or less red hearts. But... You know, I think that I would rather take that chance and go for becoming Guppy because that just is so good. It gives us flight and it makes it so that we spawn uh, kamikaze flies with each time we hit a tier. And that does still work with Mom's Knife. And that just means that we um, we can... That's, that's a huge advantage, basically. Um, and I think that it's more important than the Lucky Foot when we have really good pills, honestly, so far. Just of the two pills... Uh, well, I mean, we know three or four pills, maybe. But of them... Okay, I'm not going to be getting another reroll. It doesn't matter. I may as well check the room. Only one key, not going to the uh, shop. Yeah, I think that it's a, a greater advantage than the lucky foot would be. To become Guppy is just amazing. Then we could get these keys. We could uh, probably... I mean, there's nothing else that we could get. We can go into curse rooms without taking damage. We only take damage for leaving. It's also just a great maneuverability increase. I really don't see why we wouldn't do that. Of course, the chance is rather low that we will get what we want. Money equals power. That's an interesting item. I will definitely take it. It's probably special, but I like it a lot. Yeah, that's all I got for this floor. It uh, gives us 0.04 damage for each cent that we have. God, look at the colors. It's amazing. So basically, since we have 12 cents, we have 0.48 extra damage, and that's awesome. It maxes out at 3.96 damage, or uh, what you would get at 99 cents. It was previously commonly believed that it maxed out at 30 cents or 50 cents or something. Uh, that is not the case. It maxes out when your money maxes out. It will continue giving you damage as long as you can continue increasing your money count. We can go to this boss challenge room, which gives us a health up. I'm not going to say no. And, uh, you know, that's gonna probably be an easy enough room since we're still fighting Monstro and Larry Jr. Those are easy fights. I can't believe I let myself take damage there. But, hey, sometimes things happen. Now, it would have been prudent and intelligent had I fought the boss to get the charge. I'm gonna do it now. I'm also gonna use a bomb for a key because we have a lot more bombs than keys. Yeah, we're losing a couple charges, and that is okay. We're not going to be able to reroll the boss item, simply because it's always uh, going to be Little Chad when we fight Chad. And uh, Little Chad, of course, drops a half red heart for us after every couple rooms. And I'm just going to take it, because whatever. So now we can reroll the peeper. Lemon Mishap, that's real funny. Lemon Mishap is pretty bad. It leaves a puddle that damages enemies that walk over it, and uh, generally it just doesn't hit stuff. So, I mean... It is like a two-room charge, which is plenty good, but it is not, uh, it is not good. So it, it's kind of a wasted two-room charge, is basically what I'm getting at. God, I love all the colors that are here. This is amazing. And all the drops are fun. But this is what I'm talking about. We're going to have no shortage of things. Two of diamonds. Sure, I'll just use that now that I've picked up all that money. High Priestess. Oh gosh, had I known, had I only known, it doesn't actually matter that much. I have 63 cents. I don't think that I'm going to be, like, short on money anytime soon. Okay, you get away. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know if that did a full heart or not because I didn't see what it shoots. And I didn't give it a chance to try again. Small rock? 
No, not yet. This has been a good run for Tinted Rocks. It really has. Look at this money equals power business. But, uh, oh, oh yeah. Did I mention that the technical difficulties are still going on and that's why this isn't the new series? Because I know I mentioned that the new series uh, wasn't this, but it could be. And I don't think that I explained that the technical difficulties that were uh, plaguing it, causing it not to be out yesterday, are still causing it not to be out today. And it's beyond my control. Unfortunately, I wish it were in my control. I always wish that everything that went wrong were something that I could control so I could fix it easily. But unfortunately, that just is not the case. Okay, so we're fighting greed, and that is all well and good. Nope. Ah, oh, he hit me. See how much it matters? Nope, you just... Okay, I got hit a lot of times. But what I'm counting on is becoming Guppy. <laughs> I'm counting on it. If it doesn't happen, I'm going to be really upset that I took the dead cat and misused the um, Guppy's paw. You guys have no idea how much fun it is when everything is so colorful. I mean, some of you probably do, because some of you have probably messed with this already. But Spider Mod does in fact have this now, as I stated earlier, and it is, it is real awesome. And this definitely might be something that I'd want to just kind of do again and again in order to uh, satiate my need for vanilla runs and your need for challenge runs all at the same time. Because, you know, I think that it's a, it's a pretty good middle grounds. It's a, it's a fun thing. It's also, it's, it's just cool. So uh, we do know now that there is no champion fallen for sure, unless somehow the code is broken, but it's not. Or the, the spider mod code. But it's not. I was hoping, okay, I was hoping for a pedestal guppy item or a guppy item from the chest. Absolutely worth a couple bombs to get in on this action. Remember, we have a larger blast radius, so that's not too threatening. There's a ton of health laying around. Umbilical cord is a garbage trinket. Spirit of the night. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't have the ability to reroll it, so that's fine. Umbilical cord would give us a little Steve familiar when we're down to only half of a heart only half of a heart that that is including like extra soul hearts or anything like that and it only lasts while you're in the room that you got knocked down to it in so it's really really bad and um you know i wish it i wish it weren't but it is so it's really not worth taking in my opinion of course uh, every so often when i do that i mean yeah i guess it's only a benefit but i don't really want that benefit very much i can certainly be doing better yeah, no shortage of money, because, I mean, coins are the most common drop from this, from champions, from anything. And I think that another fun thing about this uh, is we're going to see some champions that we may not have seen before. You didn't die from that explosion. What? What? How much health can you possibly have? That is crazy, is what that is. The moon card is not too important to me, since I already can go to the secret room right now for free. And I'm probably just not going to uh, keep it. Okay, so my little unicorn, invincibility, contact damage, the knife would stay out so we'd be able to do a ton of extra damage as well. 1-up is another thing that I will certainly reroll, especially considering I have 9 lives. It would activate before the dead cat, meaning that uh, we wouldn't lose our hearts immediately. I don't know if I've seen a knight that dark of a red. Ever. Or that big. So, like, this is what I'm talking about. We're going to see champions that we just don't see. Alright, troll bombs, don't need that. Yeah, I, I like this a lot. This is just something that I may keep doing for like half of my vanilla runs. Ah, the health down, how I wish I had taken a lucky foot. Had I known that it wouldn't reroll and that it... Well, actually, no, I'm, I'm happy with money equals power considering how much money I have. So I don't think that that was the wrong choice at all. Not even a little bit. So since we have no item room yet, ah, oh, Poison Touch. I'm actually just going to take Poison Touch, uh, and I shouldn't have taken it immediately. I should have used my reroll and then come back here and taken it. Uh, I'm a silly man. Had I kept the Moon card, I would have been able to teleport out, but then there just wouldn't be the room to fight. And, uh, oh, you know, it's interesting. Challenge rooms cannot have champion enemies. They can have alternate enemies, but not champions. And that is why we're not fighting champions here. Um... This is just confirmation of that. Same with um, that boss challenge room earlier. I don't know why I didn't notice that, but uh, I do know that. You can't have champions in uh, challenger boss challenge rooms. Only uh, alternates. 
And you can't have alternate bosses. So I don't want the Ankh, that's another respawn as Blue Baby. Although that is how you get Blue Baby with Red Hearts. If you uh, are playing a character that isn't Blue Baby, you die and respawn with the Ankh, and then you respawn again because you died. With nine lives, you respawn with Red Hearts. And I don't know if you still have, uh, like if you still count as Blue Baby in that situation. That's the thing I'm, I'm wondering about. I'm losing a lot of health. That is, uh, that is my reality. Okay, so this is the Depths 1, which means we're fine to leave the boss room without any teleport. And is this health down again? Yes, yes it is. But in the event that we get a deal with a devil, and have the ability then to trade both of our hearts, that's two health up pills, so we're fine. Still haven't been to the item room, etc, etc. We have 99 cents, so that's maxed out damage for uh, money equals power, 3.96, and then multiplied by the knife, of course. There's our devil room. There's a beautiful health up from meat. It's also a small damage up, which is amazing. Uh, yeah, we gotta take Guppy's head for sure. So now we're Guppy, which means we have flight, as well as uh, we spawn kamikaze flies on every hit, so we really don't need to keep that. And we will take the pact for a damage up and two soul hearts. So yeah, this is going really well. We're gonna get one health up, just because that's how health downs work. And then we're gonna go find our item room and see if we keep re-rolling in, uh, in the secret room. I may or may not go to the shop. I really don't need to use the hermit about it, though. Because when you think about it, I have 13 keys, and I'm only going to be getting more. We didn't get Guppy's tail either, so it's not like... It's just not a concern that we're going to get a lot of chests. Guppy's tail is the Guppy item we didn't get. So the fish head will spawn a kamikaze fly when we get hit. So it's not going to be all that useful because we're already spawning more than enough kamikaze flies to get by, but it's going to be a thing that exists, and, uh, you know, if it helps us even a little bit, I guess that's better than not having it. And you'll say, well, that's the same for the umbilical cord. And I'll say, uh, okay, so what are you? Tears down. That's kind of unfortunate. Uh, a waste of 0.2 damage, unfortunately. But we'll get it back. I don't really need to buy the key either because, uh, you know, that's not too concerning have plenty of keys. Of course, that could change, but uh, again, I don't have Guppy's tail, so it's not like we're going to be getting a lot more golden chests than we would have normally. Another reroll. We're not going to be getting another reroll after this, so I am just going to go to the item room because I'd rather reroll it than the secret room, even though the secret room could contain uh, raw liver. Eh, I'll take it, though, so then I can reroll for raw liver. What? I didn't even explain Little Gish. Little Gish shoot slowing tears and they're awesome. Harlequin Baby shoots that V of tears that you see and that is also pretty awesome. Both of them have the lowest, like tied for lowest familiar damage um, among a couple other things. But I, I do not mind. I do not mind at all. Okay, so we'll go back to the secret room for one last reroll. And it's the Hanged Man which is redundant. It doesn't do anything that we don't already have. I don't want to take it because it might be a special item that would lower our chance of other good items unnecessarily since, you know, we already have flight. It doesn't give us any other stat. I would have taken it if it were like Lord of the Pit, which is a small speed up because I could use a small speed up right now. Just a small one. So, um, yeah, it wasn't something worth taking and it won't show up again because it's only in that pool once. Hopefully raw liver. Which doesn't give a range down, by the way. And speaking of range, with Mom's Knife, getting range up does not increase your damage, as was previously believed. What it does do is nothing. And what it doesn't... Uh, it does lower your damage if you go below base range, but once you're at base range, your damage is not going to be changing. Bob's Rotten Head, alright, let's reroll for Raw Liver, please. May as well bomb my way into this other room, because why not? Dad's Key opens doors. Not very good. Okay, that's the arcade. I didn't have to pay a cent to get in here, which is good. Uh, there is the shop, which probably contains greed. I, I don't know. I haven't kept up on our whole, our whole greed situation. Uh, I am going to use this here blood donation machine to get back up to 99 cents, if at all possible. Alright, that's nice, because uh, you can double play this on one thing. And, uh, you know, now we won't see it again. If we play more of those, uh, we'll be in a situation where it's all all good for that. Alright, you, no problem. Bunches, we're up to max money again. 
And no, it doesn't go past 99 or anything. That would be nice, but it does not. And so that means there's no reason to go keep playing that IV bag just to get rid of all this health, because I already have all the health that I can possibly, possibly have. Or all the money I can possibly have. So, I could reroll that, or I could keep rerolling for raw liver. I want to go for raw liver. I don't know why I left the room and went to this one, because the other room was just as connected to the secret room. But, uh, raw liver, please. Uh, epic fetus, boring. So we're going to reroll epic fetus. No qualms about that, because I really just... I don't like the item. It's just not that fun, because it's so easy. Mom's knife takes a fair amount more skill. It really does. Because you actually have to get moderately close to your enemies in order to do things. Of course, Gurgles don't have champions either. But you do have to get moderately close to your enemies in order to damage them with Mom's Knife. And you have to have a lot more presence of movement. Um, it's just it's a harder item to use, even if I'm good with it. I am good with Mom's Knife. At this point, I've played this game quite a lot, so uh, Mom's Knife is one of the things that I've gained some experience with. Okay, so we have this here item room. Ten bombs. We already had that, I think. Uh, but it's in the pool twice, which is why that can happen. So we got two pills here. One of them is balls of steel, and the other is health up. Well, that was great. Night room. That room was amazing. I liked that room a lot. So uh, rather than reroll boom, I mean, I might take boom later, I'm going to reroll epic fetus. Because, I mean, really, if I want to do an Epic Fetus run, I can pretty much get it any run just by getting an item in the secret room or getting greed in the secret room. Because then you can greed farm, and I won't explain that right now. Because it's just not really relevant at the moment. There's the raw liver we were after. Two health up, full health, and uh, no range down. It is not a range down as was previously believed. So, uh, you know, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Much better than what we had. I mean, it's not better in an objective like we're more likely to win sense it's better in a fun and useful sense uh for right now i guess it's not technically more useful either but it is more fun and it is what i wanted the sun shows us the full map uh gives us full health and uh does 100 damage to every enemy in the room that's right we're gonna keep re-rolling our item room because you know that's gonna be a good time I don't need this. I don't have the lucky foot. If I had the lucky foot, I could play those tons and get tons of beautiful, sweet soul hearts and trinkets and tarot cards. But, you know, that doesn't really need to be done. Oh, okay. I missed the diagonal. The diagonal throw with a knife is actually really finicky. Yeah, there's the potential we get another reroll, so I guess I may as well maximize. <clears throat> Alright, then. What are we going to get? I don't know what we're going to get, and it's hopefully it's going to be really, really glorious. Polyphemus, maybe. Charm of the Vampire is a very bad item. I don't know if it's a special item, but I don't like it. And if you don't like an item, there's no point in taking it. I understand a lot of people believe that uh, it's a passive, there's only benefit to it. But there actually is some detriment to that one, in particular. Uh, and I, again, don't know if it's a special item. If it's a special item, that's yet another detriment, because it would make it so that we don't get more good items, basically. Note that Mom's Knife and Brimstone are not special items. So we can't go to that boss challenge room. Actually, we can go to that boss challenge room. There's a ton of health laying around. So we're going to the boss challenge room, if only to get that extra charge on our D6 for the uh, Mom fight. And we'll probably use the High Priestess card in there, and I'll, I'll show you a glitch with it if I can uh, not mess up, basically. But we're going to use the IV bag, get down to one heart, and go on to the boss challenge room. Then we'll get back to full health after that, assuming we take the item. Ah, we're going to take the item no matter what. Because even a shot speed up wouldn't really uh, bring us down right now because we have Mom's Knife. It probably doesn't even do anything. I mean, I may as well... You don't even have to try to use it fast in order to double play it. You really don't. So, uh, what was I going to say? I don't even remember. You can only take five flies to the next room, by the way, which is why Fish Head isn't all that useful. But anyway, we'll get back to full health after the boss challenge room. We'll take it no matter what. Uh, we'll get that extra D6 charge. We'll use the High Priestess in there. Oh, High Priestess glitch? Maybe that's what I was going to say. You pause the game as the foot hits the ground. You unpause it, and it stomps again. Pretty cool. So, uh, just don't grab a heart by accident, and we are home free. What is it going to give us? Health up. That's exactly what I want to see. 
Alright then. Okay, so here we're gonna do it. Oh, that was too... Okay, I messed up. But I haven't really done it more than once ever. So... <laughs> Sorry. I did do it successfully in another video though, and you can do it the way I explained. You just uh, pause. When it hits the ground, I was way early on that. And then unpause and it'll stomp again. And maybe you do tons of damage. Anyway, I wanted to get rid of that. Since uh, I'm taking the sun card anyway. Much more useful card. It's very good. The full health is like, in and of itself, more than enough. And as for why Charm of the Vampire is bad, since I never got there. Maybe that's what I wanted to talk about. Uh, that's really bad, simply because... Note that I don't have a half heart right now. And this is something that it might be good for other people. It's not good for me, though. I only have a half heart right now at the end. And that's because I'm going to pick up the Polaroid after this fight. And what the Polaroid's going to do for us is uh, if we happen to get hit so far down that we're down to only that half heart, we'll actually get Polaroid invincibility instead of um, just kind of being able to die. So staying at that half heart is excellent for Polaroid invincibility. Oh, we don't know you? That's exactly what I wanted, yes! <laughs> so now we get to see if there was a devil room or angel room that we earned. It's not going to be an angel room since we have already taken a deal with the devil or, you know, three. So it's not going to be an angel room. But uh, we can see if we get a devil room, we can see if we want to trade for something. We've already re-rolled a large portion of that pool though, so, uh, you know. It's going to be interesting. We might see item room items, we might not. But anyway, uh, Charm of the Vampire would give us an extra... Okay, I don't want to health down, but I do want to health up. It would give us a half heart of recovery after we kill 13 enemies, each 13 enemies. So, when you're not taking much damage, you're not taking red heart damage, you're not uh, worried about the recovery, it's a really bad item to take because then you can't stay comfortably at that half heart in order to get invincibility if something happens to go wrong. And the way I feel about it is, if something's going to be going wrong, one half heart every 13 kills is not going to save you. So, I think it's a bad item. Some people might find it useful and, well, they are entitled. So, uh, you know, I think it's bad. Wow, I waited for that specifically so it didn't move it, but it did. At least I have a bunch of bombs. Three cents, not useful, so I'm not even going to take it because it doesn't go past 99. Anyway... So uh, now we finally know, even though, I mean, I, I think that we all really knew already, there is no Champion Fallen. That's kind of what we're taking from this. I love the rainbow. I love the rainbow. It's just so many colors with these enemies. Nothing to reroll. There might be a library somewhere along here, but uh, I don't think I'm going to find out. I don't want to use the sun, even though I don't think that I'm really at risk of dying at any point in time here. But I don't want to use the sun for it. Uh, even though it would be nice, that's another health up, which is quite excellent. Keys galore. I'd take Guppy's tail if I got the opportunity. Another health up. And let's see who our boss is. Our boss is Triacnid. That's always an interesting fight, since uh, you don't see Triacnid too often. Oh, I almost did that right. So remember, range up is not, in fact, a damage up. And, you know, I was totally wrong about that. But it was pretty convincing at the time. Let's reroll. I will take Guppy's Tail for three soul hearts. I did say I'd do it, so I'm now... I, like, there's no way that I wouldn't have become Guppy. I don't really need the uh, Brother Bobby. I'm going to get another reroll, because, you know, if I get another health up, that's great. Don't want to pick up any hearts, and this is, again, the reason that I avoided taking Charm of the Vampire, because that would not have helped us out. It would have really just brought us down. And I guess uh, this reroll that we're hunting for is going to maybe take us to a library or whatever this end room is. Uh, I mean, it's not worth it. I don't need the money. It's not worth accidentally taking a heart for some reason. Darn it. We can see our soul hearts, but that's because we just traded a bunch of soul hearts. High Priestess again, so I'll just use that in the next room for convenience. No, I won't. I'll use it in the next room. If the next room has any challenge to it. Oh yeah, sure. Dude, it was pink. It was awesome. Oh wow, I missed with that? That's a little silly. Alright, so now we have a reroll. We don't have a tarot card again. We can go pick up our sun card and go reroll again. Where hopefully we will just get a health up and I can be on my way. Would be nice. But away we uh, continue. Well, back we continue. Not really away yet. Okay, 
Avoid? Avoid the hearts. The hearts are bad. The hearts are very bad. No heart in here. Heart in here, though. And heart is there. We're fine. Just be a health up, or be a damage up, or be something that I totally want. Patch boy. Alright, let's do it again. That would give us seven coins. And, of course, we still have 99 cents, so it is not going to be worth anything for us. So we're going to get another reroll, and uh, I just want a health up. It's really not so much to ask. I mean, evidently it is, but it's it shouldn't be. Ah, oh, the rainbow, it's glorious. Yep, I will pop you open, get the bombs. Don't really care if I get the money or not. I'm going to the curse room, because why not? Okay. So we go even for this, basically. We lose a soul heart, but we uh, gained a soul heart, so that's that's going zero. Okay, that's a bomb to pick up. I like bombs when uh, you know, when I have max money. I mean, geez, this run is this run is how you get a lot of money, basically. Uh, now, I don't feel like backtracking anymore, so I'm gonna do this extra room just in case there is a library after all. And I will just find out, basically. I don't think there will be. It's a challenge room. I'm going to go to the challenge room. That's another health up. So we can take this heart after using the health up so we don't accidentally do anything we don't want to. Don't know it. Luck up. So that's not good. It affects our drop rate of things. But uh, no longer... I mean, it, it doesn't do anything past that. One luck up is the same as 20 luck ups, except in the case of tough love. That's the only thing luck affects besides the drop rate after one. So uh, after one luck up, you're set with luck unless you have tough love, which doesn't affect mom's knife. And uh, tough love is um, up to nine luck ups matter. Oh no! Okay, whatever. Not gonna take damage. I'm just not gonna do it. Uh, yeah, nine luck at nine luck ups, you will be shooting all teeth. So basically, luck up is a lot less useful than luck down because the drop rate augmentation is very like small. It just doesn't matter a lot, and the um, the what am I what am I talking about? It doesn't affect like chest drops as a luck down. The more luck down you get, up to a point you're guaranteed to get a chest drop straight up and it's gonna be a brown chest rather than a gold chest which is even better because it won't cost you keys if you get to the point where you're in the chest with that um geez you you're just getting a ton of free items because you pretty much have to get a chest uh, if you've gotten enough luck down and that is a ridiculous so let's see if this is the boss or not it's not so do I know this pill? It's tears down. You know, I think I'm gonna not take tears down, believe it or not. Alright. Suddenly gold chests, because remember, we did pick up Guppy's tail in order to increase the rate of drop of chests and golden chests. Not just golden chests, which is something that a lot of people believe at this point, I th or maybe they stopped believing it, but I don't know. That was something that was previously believed. And um, it doesn't just lower the drop rate of keys, it lowers the drop rate of everything that is in the chest. All by the same amount as well. So, you know, it's not like designed to be a jerk. It's just designed to, you know, be whatever it is that it is. Hey, yeah, I'll go down first. It's so colorful. And, of course, this will affect our champions as well. They'll drop a lot more chests. Oh, my goodness. Just pop up already. Thanks for taking forever to do that. The moon teleports us to the secret room, so I guess I'll use it after this. Okay, we're going to keep the Joker as opposed to the sun, because I don't think that I'm... Well, hopefully I'm not going to need the sun. So we use this. In here is 9 cents, so I don't really care for it. It doesn't matter to me, because I already have 99. And, uh... Yeah, I'll just take it now, the Joker. Don't want to use it on this floor because the uh, devil room on this floor is simply a path to shoal and not something that we can get an item in. Unless we happen to get the small rock from the rock behind uh, the statue that may one day finally be a tinted rock. Which, by the way, is in every devil room. I just only check in the last one because I'm a silly man. So we're going to use this on the next floor, basically, is what I'm saying. And at this point, we might uh, have rerolled through pretty much all the devil room items, which means that... 
I can start getting item room items and that would be funny because a lot of the time you'll get something that's like gonna cost you health and uh, give you health so you go like straight even or depending on the circumstance you could go positive uh, Joker card right away because it's not like we're gonna be getting to it so inner eye that is in fact an item room item but I don't want that one scapular is good but not really I don't want to trade hearts for either of those items Scapular is definitely good though, I just don't have a half heart anymore, so it's not going to benefit me unless I somehow get to one. Which would take a lot of effort from me, actually. So there's no champion Headless Horseman either. But they are champions of all these. Awesome. So we can get to a half heart now, because um, health ups give you unfilled health. So as long as we find a half heart to drop, which we just did, so that's awesome, we can get back to where we want to be. And now the scapular would have been useful, or at least moderately so. Okay, so we found a library, which means we have something to use rerolls on. That's awesome. Another soul heart. I can't really avoid that half heart, unfortunately. Okay, so we're going to get the that. Then we're going to get this. Book of Sin, okay. And then we reroll both of them for two more books. And as long as we touch the books, they can't appear again. Now the library pool and the angel room pool are special pools where items are not removed from them just by seeing those items, they're only removed if you take them. So that doesn't really synergize well with the uh, the angel room pool since you can't necessarily take all of them and you can't go back to the room very easily, but in uh, the library you can just keep going back in every time you have a reroll, touch the books so that they can't come back, and then that's a lot of drops. And then uh, keep rerolling them until the pool is empty. And when the pool is empty, it starts giving you item room items, which is uh, super awesome. So we're going to try and do that. <clears throat> if uh, at all possible. And I think it's going to be possible. I don't think it's going to take too many more rerolls, especially at the rate of uh, two books at a time. Which means that uh, we can hopefully do it in two more rerolls, maybe. Is that tears down? I think it is. Justice. Okay. I like Justice. That is indeed tears down, so I guess I'll stick with my fool card. Uh, this will teleport me literally two rooms, but I don't need to teleport for anything, so it's fine. I will use that once. Of course it's going to give me the blood bag. So we have 12 red hearts, that's a thing. I was doing that so that I could pick up another half heart, but, uh, you know, half, uh, health up might be better. So it should only take one more reroll to see the last book, assuming I haven't uh, forgotten anything, but I think that I haven't seen Book of Shadows, so that's going to be there. And I think that might be it, so we should see it twice, and then after that we're re-rolling for item room items. So we're going to fully clear the cathedral, most likely just for that purpose. And then we're going to, I don't know, go on and see what we get, basically. I mean, my damage is already absurd, so if we got Polyphemus, I don't even know what, I don't even know what would go on. I think that everything would just die. Unfortunately, the case is that we've already seen the Forget Me Now, and I didn't take it because the D6 is so good. So we're unlikely to be able to replay the final floor, the chest, which would be fun. Of course, this is a challenge run. I could just give myself the Forget Me Now a bunch of times and keep fighting the whole chest, but that would get old probably quickly. Oh, Book of Belial, how could I forget? So it looks like it might take another two rerolls to get item room items, which is fine. We will make it through. I'm hoping this isn't the boss path that I've selected on the uh, left there, but I don't I don't know. The world may never know. No, the world will know in like two minutes. Probably less than two minutes. It'll probably be like one minute max. Yeah. Now it's been like ten seconds. Not the boss path. Exactly what we wanted. Now this horse is annoying. Oh yeah, we took Poison Touch. So that's going to do significant contact damage to enemies if we touch them. Of course, that's what contact damage is. And it's going to uh, poison them for damage over time as well, so that's a really good item. How could I forget about that? I just like took it and then immediately forgot that it existed. Now, okay, here's the thing. One commenter very much believes that you will do more damage with Mom's Knife by having it go through an enemy rather than uh, stick, like trying to m keep it on an enemy. So we did that much. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that's a lot more. Definitely better to keep it on an enemy. 
at a cursory glance, that is. But uh, this person is very, very much convinced that allowing it to go through an enemy will do more damage than if you uh, keep it on as long as possible. I don't believe that's the case, and uh, that wasn't very conclusive testing, but, you know, it'd be an interesting topic to figure out. But consider that the testing for now, because this is the uh, best opportunity I got. Book of Shadows. Looks like we're not going to get the reroll, unfortunately. So we're not going to get uh, we're not going to get into item room items. I still will do those extra two rooms because why not? But uh, we're not going to get the, the item room items. At least that means we won't get any books in the chest from those four chests and more chests that we'll likely get thanks to Guppy's tail. I will go to the curse room. Curse rooms are fun. Maybe it'll just give me a devil room item. No. And there are no guppy items left, so the red chest couldn't give us one, because we've already taken the four that it can give us. So that's uh, that's that for this floor. <laughs> Nine lives, and we have 12 red hearts. Think about that. We had to trade a lot of hearts to get where we are. Note that Brother Bobby is in multiple pools, so uh, it's that's why it's here again. I'm not going to take any of these. PhD is good and all. But uh, I think that a reroll on it is better because I already don't need more health. More health won't benefit me, red heart wise. So that's pretty much the extent of our pills anyway. Is all like health up or health down. That's the majority. So uh, health, red hearts don't go past 12. A counter goes up, and uh, you can use that to trade to Guppy's paw or to trade for a deal with the devil. But you cannot fill it with red hearts. So it's not particularly useful to get more than 12 for the most part. And thus, I don't see why I would uh, keep the PhD here. Ipecac. I always wish that Ipecac would show up earlier in a run so that I could do an Ipecac run. Because I really want to do an Ipecac run. It's a fun item that I haven't seen early enough to actually make use of it in forever. I believe it would increase our damage with Mom's Knife, but um, I think that a reroll would be more, more helpful. But it won't overwrite Mom's Knife. And there's the item I was looking for. Uh, it just it just exists basically. It just uh, increases our damage by some amount. Our kamikaze flies will be doing like even crazier damage now. By the way, oh whatever. We're gonna be rerolling four items for most of the time. I'll take that one. That'll give us an orbital fly that'll do like two damage or something per hit, but it hits a ton, so it does a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, Ipecac. I want to do a run with it. It just needs to show up. So now we have Polyphemus. Poly Polyphemus plus Mom's Knife is like crazy, crazy damage. Not just crazy damage, it's crazy, crazy. You have to understand the difference. But let's go reroll four items. Shall we? Uh, don't want any of these. Three of them are spacebar items. Of course I'm going to clear the full chest, by the way. Because uh, this, is, this is one of those runs. And uh, we're going to get as many champions as possible. Because remember, that's the point of this run. We're seeing all them champions that we can. Uh, I'm going to go to up here first, then. Oh, it's the champion bloat. See how much that did for her. Ah, sure, Bobby Bomb. We've gotten... Have we gotten poison bombs as well? Yep, we've got poison bombs. Our bombs do uh, poison damage, damage over time. And they also uh, now home in on enemies. So that's pretty nice as well. Basically, we, we have all of the bomb powering items. Okay, uh, well, let's see what you give me. Oops, well, I may as well use the Yum Heart then, although I shouldn't have used the Yum Heart because there are half hearts here that would have been better. But I don't think that it's going to be too much of a concern for me to uh, not die. I could be wrong. Jeez, I could get pretty cocky because this, uh, this setup is so good and then die like a fool. Quad Shot would lower our damage. It would pretty much have our damage. And um, the Thin Odd Mushroom would lower our damage as well. So we don't want either of them. And, okay. Yeah, so two more things we can reroll. I don't even know if we're going to, like, get to get any other items. Because <laughs> we're just, like, we're just running through everything and no items are showing up that make me want them. I would love to get Max's head or the magic mushroom. Because those would multiply my damage by 1.5. And uh, those would kind of complete this amazing damage setup that we have and also of course make our kamikaze flies insane. I will take the halo because it's a damage up, it's also all stats up. I don't need either of any of those three items. We're gonna get at least one more reroll. 
can we get the one I want? There's a chest. Contains ghost baby. I'm just gonna take it. Shoot spectral tears. Nope, not threatened. Fine, I'll run into you. If I have to. If I have to. I mean, you know. Oh, I didn't let that blow up because lag. Okay, <laughs> one more reroll. This is the last one. Oh, I'm going to do the room now then since it's just not going to matter. We can't get a third room for our reroll. We just can't. So I may as well do this now. We're going to get a soul heart for this room because uh, blue champion boss. That's how that works. It's funny that like this has become basically a normal run because of how powerful I've become. But, uh, that, you know, that's just the thing that happens. I'm going to try the High Priestess glitch again on the boss fight. Because that'd be fun. You know, maybe I can get it, see if I can kill the boss with only... There we go. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. So, yeah. Let's do what we can. My damage is crazy, though. Alright. I'll, I'll probably mess up the High Priestess glitch quickly, if not immediately. So uh, we'll probably be able to see how crazy this damage is. Okay, so we do this. Okay, we pause, we unpause. We missed. That's fine. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, so that was the champion's run. I hope you guys enjoyed that, uh, you know, brief return to challenge runs that may continue returning since it's fun. Uh, I think it's a great, great thing that's been brought to us. We didn't really fight many mini-bosses, but we probably... Oh, jeez, I wonder how that would work. If we had one of the triple mini-boss rooms and had all of the... All mini-bosses or champions, would it have given us three super mini-bosses or something? Because that'd be awesome. Someone needs to test that. I didn't think of that when I was starting the run, and I just... Uh, jeez, now I want to do it again to find out, but... Uh, someone else can also test it, because it's a, it's a cool thing to mess around with. And uh, maybe... Let me know. So I hope you guys enjoyed that run. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.